But yeah, the tutorial of the day is um sorry, um on character animation. Uh we've never actually done a tutorial on this, so I thought I'd show you the basics for um R thirteen. Um you can actually animate something pretty quickly. Uh well I won't actually show you how to do the animation. Today I'll just show you how to rig it. Maybe in the future we'll actually do the animation. Um so yeah, let's get going. So you have this body here. You can get it in the content browser here under Fred, or you can use a woman, Lisa. Um, so yeah, make sure you have this selected. Go ca to character and character. That's like the get, creates a character object. Um, so it's not just a bunch of shapes anymore. Um, now under here, you want to go to object build and here you can see these different types of templates they're they're for different you know animals like uh, insect reptile fish biped is for the human so that's what we'll be using um just add a pelvis and as you can see all these arrows pop up these are what actually will control the body um yeah so click the uh, spine um, and you, as you can see kind of now everything kind of falls off the, the pelvis and then next thing we add which will be the head will also fall off the spine everything will just go under the head or connected to the spine because obviously if you do biology you'll know that um, the spine is what controls the rest of your body um, So then go back to the spine, and then you want to go on to um, at arm, and then go control, click. As you can see, two arms pop up. They're basically exactly the same as each other, so when you change one, the other will change as well. Uh, I guess you can call it a mirror image, but it's not really. Um, <laughs> so yeah, go back to the spine and then go into your leg you can see here leg IK so, so what we want to do is get, open the thing and then go control click and again you have two legs there um, that, that's looking good They're, the positioning is a bit out of place um, because me, I think we use one too bi a little too big, but anyway, uh, we can just change that later on. Um, so as you can see, you've got the basic setup ready. Um, all you want to do now is go to the Just tab, and then go make sure you have components selected and symmetry checked, because uh, we're gonna actually be controlling the objects through here so not the objects the kind of parts of the body so that's going to be the spine and that's the head so you want to put the head one right in the middle and then your spine you don't want it too far out or too far in you kind of want it just um all right oops that was the head one there so one on the bottom and then one at the top there we go it's looking good okay now let's do the spine um about there just on the oh how to get there that's better that's where we want it um and then if you can just push it in a little bit and then push it down that's perfect um And 
and so like that's fine bring it out just a little bit um, and then right here that one's fine actually no let's move it just a little There we go. Um, it's a bit confusing with all this, you know, all these little circles. Um, so just carry on, you know, rigging, like positioning them in the correct pos place. Um, so there we've done the spine and the head. Now we should. Um, probably do the let's see uh maybe the arms are pretty bad so yeah we're gonna have to do them anyway so let's do them now so you can just by going to the there we go just by going to that main blue circle dragging it up you can actually get the um the arms by themselves rather than the whole spine so as you can see that's maybe that's probably how you should have it looks good so yeah i want to leave it a little gap over here Pull it down there. And whenever you rig a character, you always want to make sure you have um, kind of angles like that. You don't want it straight down because when your body moves, your muscles are never actually completely straight. And Cinema 4D knows that. So once you start animating it, it, w it helps to um, have it correct. Uh, yeah. So now let's move on to the arms. The hands, I mean, sorry. Just select that main one, drag it all down. We're not going to actually position them all, all the fingers and stuff. I'm sure you guys could do that after I've shown you how to do this. It's not very difficult. It just takes a long time. <laughs> Which I don't want to make this tutorial too long. Um, so yeah, you want to try and get it best angle possible. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. As you can see, what you did to the left one is gone to the right one straight away. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, oh, the head move, I moved it again by accident. <laughs> About there, about just about there. One at the bottom, one at the top, and there we go. Um, and now for the uh, legs. Now, when I was, you know, when I just tried this out last time, I did have a little bit of problems with the. Uh, Uh, 
what do you call it the uh, legs because um, for some reason uh, every time I moved it it would just kind of move at a wrong angle uh, don't know if you get what I'm saying but yeah you don't need to worry about that uh, hopefully this time it will work Let's I'm just positioning it the last time there we go that's perfect um, so now we have the knees so as you can see here that it's actually moving at an angle the knee the from bottom to the knee from the above the quadriceps to your knee there's a little bit of a kind of angle it's not completely straight line which is what you want uh, here you need to get it on the ankle and, and the toes I'd say that's pretty accurate that's very accurate hmm. but in the last time um, so yeah that, that's perfect um, that's some good um so the next thing you want to do all right um and then you want to go into your controllers under your adjust tab and make sure all the joints and everything are in the correct places um the hand one could probably be out a little bit more um about there and the angles are good angles are perfect um, now the head you want to have it so it kind of wraps around perfectly that's looking good there we go that's looking that's looking nice um, so yeah I'd say that's a pretty good looking finished rig um, after this uh, you'll be able to animate it easily using the animate tabs here you can you know make your own poses you can even add, just add a walk you guys can try that out um, just add the walk and then hit play and see what happens um, yeah that's a reason for you to what actually watch the tutorial and follow it so yeah just make sure you once you've got here, add the walk, click play, and you'll have a nice um, moving animation. Um, so yeah, that was a character animation tool, and it's pretty easy in uh, the new R13 compared to the other versions. Um, and as you can see, it only took me uh, 14 minutes, but that's with me trying to talk and explain to you while I'm doing it probably could have done it maybe half the time if I was just by myself um, so yeah thanks for watching like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter um, yeah thanks for watching and goodbye